Hello, everybody. This is MJ Hill. And today, the question that I'm going to be answering is, how can I save more money? Now, when you have children, children can be expensive. Believe me, I understand. You need to cut corners or save money the best way you can. And number, I have 10 things that I'm going to say that I know is going to save you money. The first thing on my list is create a budget. That is very important, even if you don't know how. What you do is write down how much money you spend on everything. And today we're gonna to talk about the grocery store, how to save money in the grocery store. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the worst time to go shopping is the first of the month. The reason why is because they raise prices. The first of the month is the worst time to go shopping. A friend told me this a few years ago, and I didn't believe it. She said the first of the month, what they do is they raise prices. They raise prices the first of the month. And it makes sense because that's when a lot of people get their check. All right. So that is incredible. But um, I can tell you that the grocery store that I went to, I noticed that they did raise the prices. I'm not going to name which grocery store that is. Yeah, I, did, I don't know if they do it to all grocery stores, but it does make sense. It makes sense. So you want to avoid that first week in the month if you can help it. The best time to shop would be the second week of the month, second, third, and fourth week of the month. Those are the best times to shop. Now, you want to make a menu for your family, a seven day menu, and dishes that you can cook that are very economical, like a big pot of spaghetti, chili, uh, stew, or even meatloaf or casseroles. And this is a bonus tip that I really should have given you at the end, but it ties in right now. When you're making your menu and after you cook your food, you wanna make more than enough for that meal, but instead of putting it in the refrigerator, what you wanna do is you wanna get Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer and label it. Believe me, that will save you yeah, time and money because there will be days that you're tired and you get home from work. And instead of you cooking food, you can just reach into the uh, freezer and take out some spaghetti. So um, the next thing on my list is to make a list, a grocery list. It's very important. Make a grocery list. Look in your refrigerator, see what's there, take inventory. This list is of course based off of your menu. Get all of your items that you need. And whatever, please, it's very important to make a list. Okay, now you, I know that your kids are gonna want snacks. So what you wanna do is you want to buy your snacks at the dollar store, at the dollar store. Do not buy snacks at the regular grocery store. You're gonna spend five, close to $5 for a bag of potato chips when you could get a few bags at the dollar store, just a dollar each. You get two bags for $2 instead of one bag for $5. So, um, and that brings me to number six on my list. You should go to more than one grocery store. And this is what I'm talking about. There are some grocery stores that are, they have mostly generic items. I'm not gonna name any grocery stores, but you probably know what I'm talking about. So what you do is those generic grocery stores you get all of your, your condiments, like 
your ketchup, mustard, salad dressing. Uh, you can even get uh, seasoning from there. Uh, you might want to get other things like butter, um, juice, milk, things like that. And then if you don't have everything on your grocery list, then you go to the main grocery store. That will save you tons of money. And you can even buy fruits and vegetables. You can buy fruits and vegetables from these discount grocery stores. Okay. Now, um, seventh on my list is, now, don't do this in front of your kids. Don't let them see you do this, but put water in the juice. And of course you taste it to make sure it's not too diluted, but you'll be amazed at how sweet juices are. Put a little bit of water in the juice and chances are your kids won't even taste the difference. Another thing you can do it, if you buy a lot of juices, um, buy a, a big jar of apple juice, and you can you know, mix that with your other juices to make it taste, to make the juices taste different, to make them last or whatever, but you should be putting water in your kids' juices. Okay, you're in the kids' juice. All right, uh, the next thing on my list is number eight, whenever you shop, you don't wanna shop at eye level. What you wanna do is, for example, if you're going to buy toilet tissue, what you do is you look below eye level. You get the cheaper bathroom tissue. And really bathroom tissue, in my opinion, I don't feel like it's that important because on a daily basis, you know, I don't care about toilet paper. And after I use it, I care about it even less. So I get the cheap toilet paper, okay? Now, um, you want to have pen and paper, pen and paper. That way you can write down the prices of everything. You can write down the prices. That's very important. Now, you don't have to carry pencil and paper, but if you're serious about saving money, it's a very good idea. Now, last on my list is get a receipt. Get a receipt for everything. Because one time I got my receipt from this grocery store and after he gave it to me, I said, wait a minute, how can these groceries be so expensive? So he looked on the tape and he saw that uh, he mistakenly charged me nine times for one item. He charged me nine times for one particular item. So look on your, look on your receipt, check the items, make sure you got everything that you uh, asked for. Make sure you get, get everything that you have on your list. Make sure they didn't make a mistake because sometimes they do make mistakes. So you want to definitely get your receipt. Now, um, a bonus tip. I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. A bonus tip is don't go to the grocery store hungry. Do not go to the grocery store hungry. That seems so simple, but you would be surprised at how many people go to the grocery store and they're hungry and they're reaching for everything. So that is very, very important. Now, I hope that you all uh, leave some comments, tell me whether or not these tips were helpful. If they were, I'm so glad. If you have other tips, uh, you can tell me what the tips are and maybe I'll include it in my next video. So um, that's it for now. 
I hope to see you all in the next video.